In this tutorial, we'll show you how to set up your Rhodes University signature. All right. Um, the, we will set up your signature on both um, Gmail and as well as um, Outlook. Make sure that you've logged in onto Gmail and then select this icon, which is a settings icon. Click on it, and then after that, you click on see all settings. And then on the first tab, which is general tab, scroll down. Sometimes I do miss this um, section, but you will be looking for signature section. Then create new, then give your signature. A link. Click on create. Now from this point on, you would have gotten this um, document from the Rhodes University website um, uh, on the internet. Yes. Okay. Now this is what we're looking for. We are looking for the RU20, um, sorry, the RU120 signature, which is located on this um, URL. So for you to be able to visit this URL from your Word document, you need to press Control and then click as uh, mentioned on the tooltip there. Click on it, double click. Let me check, there it is. You go back to your browser and you will find it here. Now here, um, instead of highlighting like this, make sure that you, on your keyboard, uh, you press Control and then the letter A, and then this will then highlight everything. This, make, this uh, makes sure that um, you select every element that's on the page, as opposed to when you are highlighting because when you highlight there are some elements that might go um un, 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 un highlighted but you won't notice okay and then again you don't write and, and click on copy no select a to select all and then you you on the keyboard again you click on control and then c which is for copy. You navigate back to your signature field. You click there, you just, you just to make sure that you are actually on that field and you press Control and V, which is basically um, your paste um, option. So do not forget to change the details for me, the details. Fill in my division here. I'm going to mistake, sorry. is I do not have a fix, so I will remove this for myself and then replace these four stars with my extension. There you have it. Nice and easy. Oh, yes, I forgot to do. My speed address is... Um, uh, yeah, Lucas... Um, the girl in the name. Perfect. Now you need to set your signature default so that when you create a new email, it will use your signature.
when you select your signature name, select the signature name then again, and you scroll down, then you save. That's it for your so that you can see. There it is. Nice and crisp. Now for now for Outlook, I'm just bring this over here. Yeah, it's um, we're gonna do we're gonna create a signature here. So, but yeah, it's a little the process is a bit different. So you open your Outlook. Um, no, and then on signature, just the little arrow there. Click on it, and then signatures. All right, I have already created that. Let me just delete that for for this. So one, you would need to select new and then enter your signature name again. This is just your signature description. It's not really your signature name. Um, you click on okay. And then we go back again. Same. That same URL. Press Control and A so that it's selected. Everything is selected on your keyboard. And press Control and C to copy. And we come back here. We do the same Control on your keyboard and then B. There you go. I will paint these to my own details. And then I will enter Yeah, I'll remove this building. Enter my own building name again. Let's make us area here. And then we are done. Oh, yeah. Remember here as well to set your signature defaults. Okay. Let's select your the drop down. Then select your signature description or link. And we are done. Click on OK. Let's create a new email. There we go. All right. If you have any questions or any questions, please um, do send an email to support at rue.ncbz.a. Thank you very much.